You're watching the Rugby World Cup live and exclusive on three. It's the All Blacks' final group match against those gnarly oaks, Romania. So come with us to start Toulouse in France's Pink City. Our commentary team, Hamish Mackay, Grant Fox and Alan Wick. Thanks very much, Sean. Yes, Le Stud in Toulouse. A little bit of cloud about. Very comfortable 16 degrees. Not much in the way of humidity. A little bit of breeze around, but really perfect rugby conditions as we stand by for the toss here, of course. Jerry Collins skippering the All Blacks today. And Soren Sokol. Romania with the toss. Black's going to play a left to right kickoff with Romania. Joel Jute is the referee for this one, along with Mr. Quester and Mr. Chang Lang running the touch lines. Paul Marks of Australia is the video referee. Pool C, 37,000 packed into this lovely stadium as the All Blacks make their way out of the track. Big Greg Somerville can for that place in the 22. Welcome back, Keith Robinson. First match of the tour. Namir Tialata, Sereveni Sivavatu. Big one expected from Sioni Loaki as he tries to keep the momentum and step his game up and push into the 22. Doug Howlett coming into the team late with the injury to Dan Carter. Big Jerry Collins with that now very distinct and known worldwide hairstyle as the Romanians winners over Portugal by 14 points to 10 their second Rugby World Cup victory ever their first was against Zimbabwe way back in 1987 so far in the tournament they went down to Italy 24-18 to 42-0 losers to Scotland they've been at all five World Cups proud contributors but never beyond full play and that won't change in 2007. Listen to this. Well, Grant Fox, the All Blacks expected to win and win comfortably here, but another great rugby occasion. It is. It's a full house here at Lestade Toulouse. Great atmosphere. Big game for Romania. Great honour for them. You heard the manager talk beforehand. The All Blacks will be looking for a much better quality performance, much more accuracy than we saw against Scotland. AJ Wetton, purely and simply, selection places up for grabs. 80 minutes to make your way into the All Black top 22. Certainly, and obviously I think they play more as a team performance and looking at some combination, especially in the loose forwards there, promote Luaki. Big game for him. I think he can do some... Terrific damage out wide if given the opportunity. Great crowd in. Time for the national anthem. Recorded by the Republican Guard and the French Army Choir.
strong young man of Romania. Just one test between the All Blacks and Romania. Bucharest 1981 on that occasion 14 points to 6 in favour of the All Blacks. Tialata, Mayalamu and Somerville. Thorne and big Keith Robinson welcome back at lock. Jerry Collins captains the side from 6. Luke McAllister taking over at 10 with the injury to Dan Carr. Absolutely amazing. The Romanian side, captain by the Lock Ford, Soren Soko, the second cap for him. The face of Joe Rokotoko as we get ready for kickoff. <laughs> Referee Joe Zhu of France. Carter, Mills Muliaina there. Both on the injured list at the moment. Fingers crossed they will come right and come right quickly as we get underway in Toulouse. And it is Chris Marsoy with the first fumble, but back into the hands of Greg Somerville. Ellis back to McAllister. Decided to get cheeky with it early. And straight away to Rockathoko. Back to where it all started. The First ruck and here's McAllister again looking to run and open things up. Luke McAllister has support from Ellis. Ellis, wide pass out here to Sivavatu. Sivavini Sivavatu, great start by the All Blacks. Well, it was started by Luke McAllister when perhaps. The first time he chose the wrong option, he was looking to kick, but here it's from the second ruck, which Joe Rocafoco had hit the middle with. McAllister, great footwork, good support by Ellis, great overhead pass. Once it got to Sivivatu, well, he had too much pace. So one minute and six seconds, and Sivivatu dots down. Yeah, good play there by uh, Luke McAllister. I think the intention very clear by the All Blacks. From the word go, they are going to pass this ball around. Thought from the kickoff there, a bit sloppy start, but they reformed. Good pass out to the left, and McAllister at first 5 8, probably relishing the opportunity to show his wares. Well, and also the, the coolness of the pass from Andrew Ellis, they were the sort of passes that weren't sticking against Scotland. Granted, to be fair, different calibre of op opposition. So we'll watch this kick with interest because there's been plenty of discussion about the balls being used here at the Rugby World Cup comes McAllister and it's off the upright struck it well enough but just drifted into the left hand upright but a cracking old start the try to Sidavini Sivavatu 5-0 well I did wonder as we just watched McAllister just a little bit much draw on it quite hard at an upright well, he's done that from the beginning but just I did wonder about the all black tactics whether they'd go close or wide early well they've shown their intention Another restart down into the hands of big Keith Robinson. Ellis. And a knock on at the back by the number eight, Tunita. Play on. Back to Serbu. 55 Tess Venture in the halfback. Manta. The open side flank. For the Brie club here in France. In fact, all the match played their club rugby in France. The Romanians. 
Soko. Turnover. Not forward. I'm coming back. I got this goal. Back he comes. Reizo Yano on the left wing. Try to split them up the middle. Kontaniak. Hey, young, hey, young. The one is out. The one is out. Turn over to Chrissy Masoy. Back for Alice. Major. Turnover. Romania with some early possession. Servu. Gontaniak. It's a testing kick for Evans. Gontaniak gets through and drives him in the tackle. Lively start from the Romanians as they look to settle down after the very early try. Robinson back for Sivavatu. Major. Rush defence. Leaves some big gaping holes for the All Blacks to run into. Here's Jerry Collins. Sivavatu. Lost forward in the tackle of Brezo Yanu. Advantage with Romania. Serbu charged down by Robinson. Will come back for the original knock-on. Just those little errors creeping in again. A bit anxious to let the ball go in the tackle. Mind you, the Romanians are big physical lads and they're making sure their tackles count. Yeah, they are. They're, they're big, not particularly tall ground, but very solid. The pack weighs well over 100 kilos average and uh, they'll make those tackles count. All Blacks chancing the run, but every opportunity. See the Romanians not Match. quite as heavy as the New Zealanders, Match. but they are more experienced Balls. in test Dish. matches. They're obviously not the same quality of test match, AJ, Correct. but the Romanians have 540 caps on the field against the All Blacks, 417. But obviously many of them will be against sort of the tier minor. two take yeah, tier two nations. Teams, yeah. So Romania pushed the ball wide a bit early, which is a good attitude to see. So perhaps we'll see them continue that sort of vein from this scrum. Tanita under pressure from Ellis. Masoi coming through on Serbu. 94 kilogram, quite a solid lad for a halfback. The Niak uh, just bounces it into touch and kind of Joe Rockathoko. I uh, saw Joe come forward there and it, there must be a bit of breeze with the ball holding up because he seemed to misjudge that. And I did watch the kickoff from Dumitras and it did seem to hold up a little bit, the two kickoffs he's had. So just perhaps a little breeze favouring the All Blacks at the moment. Kevin Mayalamu. Action in our telecom player profile pre match. Straight to Keith Robinson off the top. Ellis flat to Collins. Now let's see if Lowaki can get some momentum up. Romanian's pouring over the top there. Back for Amir Tialata. I guess number two. Oh, man, he's just infringing at the breakdown. You see, they want to compete. They want to be very physical. But again, I just didn't like the idea of Tialata popping that ball out, just assuming someone would be behind, would be behind him. Need, they need to be more patient, the All Blacks, in the contact area. Graham Henry has talked about that and is demanding it of his team. Well, they need to go, for, go forward ball, Grant. I mean, I, I think we saw there with the pass going out to Jerry Collins and then to Lawaki on his shoulder. Not enough pace, not enough purpose from the big man. He's got to hit it. He's a huge man at 119, 20 kilos. Could do all sorts of damage. And as you said, uh, Tiarata just popping it up. They need that go forward ball. Captain Gold. Lawaki with the, the big fan. Good to see Keith Robinson get his first and his hands on the ball in that first line out, doing a lot of confidence. Taken by Ruben Thorne. Mayalamu working the short side. Six or eight metres, but eventually into touch. He's good at this, Mayalamu. Not an overly big man. He does weigh 106 kilos, but he's got a low centre of gravity. He's hard to pull down. Tinku. Now the corridor, Dianu. 
one side flanker. This is club rugby for Grenoble. Back to Serbu. Pretty efficient, AJ. Yeah, very solid in their set pieces. Most of the, uh, when we saw minnow sides, we call, but they're very good on their set pieces. As we've already mentioned, they're very solid pack. Nothing wrong with that drive here between the legs there and uh, popped it over the top. Good line out. They'll be encouraged by that start. Once again, the combination spot on between Mayalamu and Robinson. Every sniff of an opportunity, you can expect the, the stud crowd to come alive for the, the underdogs. Oh, you could argue a case for a penalty there, but Serb is into it, isn't he? He's a very competitive character around the fringes, the halfback. But I think the, op the option was right by the All Blacks. There was an opportunity down there. They did have an over overlap opportunity, but Serbu knocked the ball down. Graham Henry during the week trying to get the mas message back home. Do not get too anxious. Use it, use it, use it. That's untidy. Back for Silvatu close in. Alice again. Eyes the gap. Turns it back to Masoi. Tinku gives chase. Second try, Chris Masoi. Well, it came off an untidy scrum. Went back to Sivivadu, was parked in behind McAllister. The key here is they got quick ball as it was popped up. Andy Ellis saw the gap. Clearly there was good communication there by Marsoi on the inside. Accurate pass. Another five-pointer. Yeah, he took his opportunity well here. Now, to be fair, that scrum was untidy, but Jerry Collins was getting some repairs on that thigh of his, so they only had seven in the scrum. Very lucky to get the ball cleared, and uh, they say they took their opportunity. Nice spotting there by Andy Ellis. AJ Wetton, you'd be uh, pleased with the early start by big Keith Robinson straight away into his work. Well, I think it's important that he gets into the game early. I say he's been about four or five weeks in the waiting, so uh, important that uh, he contributes, uh, shows his leadership qualities as well, and uh, I say just the, the right start that he needs. So second conversion attempt for Luke McAllister. Just start. Sorry, Holmes, just allowed a little bit more for the draw there, so he pushed that a little bit further right to allow it to come back. Good support there by Marsoi. Nice break, you mentioned by Alice, too much pace there. Chased hard by the hooker, but good Chris backup, Mar good reward. Chris Marsoi blindside last week against Scotland, but back in what has become his preferred position. Some of them cards it up a metre or two. Back to McAllister. He drills it downtown to number eight, Tonita. And Dumitras. Interesting ground there, just kicking it to Luke McAllister. No intention of putting it into touch, driving it deep down to the right-hand side there and not wanting to give the Romanians the opportunity to put the ball in the line-out. Well, it is a fairly regular all-black tactic, that one. And they're back there chasing line and their defensive line. Welcome to Collins. Masoi again. Major. Ellis. Milwaukee. Robinson. Ellis to Thorne. Toyava. Didn't quite manage the offload. Five metres out. Collins. Tialata has a second crack at it. But penalty. And I don't see them kicking for goal here. I would imagine they'll either call a scrum or go to the corner. Scrum's been called. See where the penalty comes yeah. here. Off his feet. Just a hand came in there. Just disrupted that ball. Quality ball too. Uh, number seven, Manta it was. So Keith Robinson there. He's got an amazing ability to be out with injury for quite some time and come straight back in like he hasn't been away from the game. Just steps up. 
Well, he's only played, uh, what I think this is his 11th test match, and I think the All Blacks does know what he can bring to the table. And that's why they've persisted with him. Medical staff working on him day in, day out to uh, get him prepared for this match. Very important. I think he's uh, can play an important role going forward to those quarterfinals. Great crowd here. Atlas starting to lose, 37,000. Silvi Vade is just creeping across in behind Aaron Major. And Rockefeller was wide on the right touch line. Lawaki. Lawaki is pouring in there. The Blacks still have it. Back for Collins. Flat to Mayalamu. Another scrum, Foxy. Yeah, perhaps. Same penalty. Maybe not the same player, but once again, a Romanian player off his feet, playing the ball. And this time, I think they'll go to the corner. Good tackle there on Lewaki, though. Right round the pins. That man see. Subu again. I see the hands coming through there. They'll try and work something off the line out now. Well, it'll either be a drive or it'll be a willy away around the end. Keith Robinson sets up the drive. Goes to the deck in the hands of Namia Tialata. They regather. Lowaki. Ellis shovels it out to Collins. Out the back door here. Supervatu. Ellis. McAllister. Pops it over the top. Evans, Rokotoko, third try for the All Blacks. Oh, Joe Rokotoko, he gets his 41st try in his 47th test. The D Romanians are defending really well on the inside channels, but the consequence is that they're pretty thin out wide. A couple of wide passes shifting to the flanks, and that's where the All Blacks are finding space. They're very scrappy around those edges, though. We see the under, um, uh, under leg pass there by Jerry Collins. A favourable uh, pass right into the hands there. But good reading there by Luke McAllister over the top there. Evans, of course, making the extra overlap there, but very untidy around that ruck mall area. They've got to be a lot more decisive, clean out the rubbish that's around the side because it's making it very difficult for Randy Ellis to have that clear ball. And they're just coming in a bit on the side, AJ. Yeah. I just noticed a couple of times that the Romanian players on the fringes aren't coming in behind the hindmost foot. They're just on the side, so all Blacks perhaps need to get there just a little bit quicker to and, clear that and rubbish numbers, out. And in numbers. So Luke McAllister with the conversion attempt. One from two so far. Struck that beautifully. On his wrong side of the field, he absolutely nails it. There's the guy that normally would be doing the job. Here we see it again. Good pass by McAllister. Andy Ellis is getting to the base of Ruck and Moore really quickly and clearing the ball when it becomes available, doing a great job. That ball is set up there forever. Huge dropout restart. 19 nil, 16 minutes gone. The atmosphere at every game of this World Cup tournament has been outstanding. The French have put on a great show. Hoping to see one for the remainder of this match from the All Blacks in Toulouse. Serbu. Kicking behind. Marsoi back for it. McAllister. Maybe a chance for Loaki to get a bit of momentum up. Decides to step in for you. Potter Duan who makes the tackle. Major stepping inside. All Blacks worked on ball presentation and training this week. Ellis, just a little ankle tap on him. Evans following it up, easy as you like. Try number four, Nick Evans in the corner. See that replay grant with uh, Andy Ellis's kick with him. He didn't kick it or not. Well, he got ankle tap. As we just see it here, uh, he's darting. Oh, he might have just got a foot, foot to it, it, actually. Yeah, just got away with it. 
Jones and space up the blind side again for the All Blacks. Andy Ellis is seeing that well. There's obviously good communication. Yes, yes he, did. he did. Well done. Good skills, Andy Ellis. And the poacher himself, Nick Evans, right there on the on the money, really under no pressure to score in the corner. Well, Nick Evans, that's his fifth try. Quite running. The back three here have scored a few. Silly Vatu is in. Where is he? He's in his 20th test and he's got one a test. Well, he's, he's got one a, today. He's batting a thousand. Batting over a thousand. Right on a thousand. Right on a thousand. Rocco Focco's got plenty. And Nick Evans getting in on the action too. Yeah, Luke McAllister just two minutes after nailing one from exactly the same position. Can he make it two in a row from this spot? This one's just away to the left. 24 nil, 18 minutes gone. Taking his opportunities well there, Grant. Obviously enjoying the space on the blind side and exporting it well. And there's Nick Evans, ever present to reap the reward. Jimmy Tra with the restart of those huge. Kicks, but Ellis McAllister who almost frees the hands. Major Tornita tackles Major, gets the possession back though, back for Loaki. This is to get, gather it between his legs. Lovely pass from Somerville back to McAllister. He's a huge punter of the ball. Uh, he's got a big goal kick on him too. It's good skills by Luaki. Just not qu quite tiny enough at the breakdown. The no. Romanians are really, they've targeted that area to compete to try and disrupt the All Black flow. Not quite getting it right, but just it's niggly enough, isn't it, AJ? It's frustrating. Uh, a bit similar to Scotland at times. They really need to get some numbers here and predict the ball carrier. First time given me alarm, he was off line. That combination between him and Robinson has been working exceptionally well. Oh, here we go. This is an interesting call. Romania don't want to take the All Blacks on at scrum time, so much more confidence in their line out. And of course, under the rules, they are allowed that option. You don't see it very often, do you? Haven't seen it for. Oh, I can't, oh, can't remember, remember. exactly. Yeah. And there's why. Trust their line out. Goal. Set of three court. Don't play, don't play, Black! Serbu. Manta. Serbu. Jerry Collins is having a bit of a stretch. Dallas back. Was that offside? Was it at the rack and wall in front of the hindmost foot? We didn't. Or was there an indication of a foot trip there? This guy might. Oh, I was say. Look at having a kick for goal. Well, I'll tell you what, he had kicked it over the dead ball line. He has got a huge kick on him. Do me trust. What a yes. Of course, we have seen some huge penalties at this ground in the past. Who would ever forget the efforts of Thomas Castagnier when the French beat the All Blacks here in 1995. He kicked one, not a word of a lie, from close to 70 metres. What a good take by Soren Sokol, the captain of Romania. Towards the 22. Tialata. McAllister. Major. Toyava. So Toyava. Ellis again. Thorne. Knock back. Take the line out. It was a pretty good drive here, but Masoi, was it? Uh, Tialata it was. Did very well. 
at the breakdown. And it's good to see here. They always just use hands. No missed passes, just use their hands. Equally, though, Romania defended very well. 24 points to nil. The All Blacks leading Romania in Toulouse. So a couple of the Romanian players down and getting a bit of attention. Jerry Collins. Just having a chat to the lads, bring them together and say, look, after 20 minutes, we're 24 points up. It's uh, starting to get a bit loose. Just keep our composure. Plenty of New Zealand support here. Jerry Collins proud to be the All Black skipper for the third time. Daniel Santamans, captain, coach, sorry, of the Romanian side. Sokol again. Manta, round the front to Tinku. Oh, good defence there, Mialamu, Tialato combining well and driving Tinku over the sideline. Loaki. Major, wide to Evans. And Evans trying to use the pace to get on the outside, back to Major. Now Lawaki, right up the middle, Seattle Lawaki, Collins, Jerry Collins in support, has Ellis in support, off to Toyaba, Shepavatu, a good honest <laughs> effort by Chiyotu, and he gets the try at the end. Oh, this all started from a quick line-out throw, the Romanians weren't quite awake to it, and Nick Evans made the initial incision, a little bit heavy on the pass, but there was some wonderful interplay. Lowaki here, his strength, carried the ball forward. Jerry Collins, good hands. Andy Ellis has been in support all day today so far. And just Sivi Vatu yeah. across from his left flank, following on the right. Yeah, good support play. Good to see the loose forwards there working in tandem. Combination going well. But nice support play here also. Sivivatu, lovely calling. I think we missed that in the Scottish match, that communication. A loud call there by Sivivatu. Tuiava knew where he was and popped the ball to him. Well, made, that, the, made the last bit difficult, didn't they? Yeah. A little sidestep would have done it. Th those were the passes, though, that weren't sticking, sticking in Edinburgh. Yeah. Now, that's the error rate that Graham Henry was talking about that they've worked on. Having said that, it was a better quality of opposition oh, yeah, in totally, Edinburgh, too. Totally, yeah. I've said that. The context of the opposition, we have to take that into account without doubt. And Scotland B weren't exactly Scotland B. They were on a bad side. In comes McAllister again. Yep. Judged it sweetly. Difference. Another conversion. Yeah, difference there. And just watch the try again. But McAllister stroked that last one. The one before that, he tried to bang a bit hard. And Mick Byrne has told me, the All Black skills coach, try and bang these balls. They don't work at all. Thirty-one nil. Twenty-five minutes gone. Robinson. Very vocal halfback, Andrew Ellis, and having a good game too. The young man from Canterbury. No longer the holders of the Ranfilly Shield, we understand. Turnover ball for Manta. Alexandru Manta. Victor. Oh. No, we understand AJ and I have heard the result, Hamish. We're clearly pretty happy. We know Ali Williams is too because he's a few hundred euro richer. <laughs> the Canary boys had to part with some money, which they weren't very happy about, apparently. Yeah. The Shield back in Auckland. And money into the back pocket of Ali Williams. It's even better. Oh, Sivi Vatu is sitting right in behind the scrum. Major's up flat on the right. McAllister tucked a little bit in behind as well. Taking money off his new teammates down there. <laughs> Took money off Steve Hansen too, apparently. He, was, he didn't want to part with it. <laughs> Oh, 
Bob down by Lan is the loose head prop. Against Greg Somerville. Good pressure too from the Romanian scrum. Some big units there. Slight weight advantage in the pack to the All Blacks though by about two kilos a man. First inching for the Romanians. Tunica. This is the ball back on the tackle. Six or seven phases strung together now by the Romanians. Having a little bit of a crack, aren't they? This the crowd's more, starting to love this. This is more the style we've seen in previous matches. So the pick and go, this has been more their bread and butter. Keeping the ball in hand. And we win a couple of close ones. A 14-10 one over Portugal. They went down to Italy 24-18. Lost to Scotland 42-0. Soko the skipper in the tackle of Lawaki. In goes Mayalamu. Serbu. Kontamiak. Advantage with Romania. Bogdan Balan. Gal. Robinson makes the tackle. Kontaniak. Opportunity for this very strong fullback, Dumitra. Two metres out. Now the All Black defence sorely tested. Advantage with Romania for Rea, the tight head prop. Put your earplugs in at the Romanian score. Serbu, Tonita. Back for the penalty. Oh, some great play by Romania. Really started by Dumitras. He made, made the big incision. He's a big man for a fullback, 106 kilos. Here he is here. Andy Ellis, a great covering tackle. He was the one that really tipped him up. Nick Evans, last man standing. With some help from Reuben Thorne and some desperate defence. Greg Summer was the one who got himself offside at the breakdown. So Romania, after all of this, just get the penalty. No points reward yet. Maybe that'll come. A good period played there by the Romanians. This is, this is their bread and butter. Pick and go. Batter away. Good defence by the All Blacks. They're under pressure. They regrouped. Had to get back after that break there by the 15, Dumitras. They've been very keen to keep their line intact, the All Blacks. They did it against Scotland. They were very reluctant to give away a soft try. A bit of wear and tear on the Romanians. They run hard, don't they, Grant? Not a lot of creativity in their back line at times. No, Take it up hard. Yeah, but they're, big, they're big and physical, and you know, they've come here to play even though the scoreline is seriously against them and will continue to be. Referee says, let's get on with it. Joel Jute, Bogdan Balan, the loose head prop. Able to get in amongst the action. They're going to their line out. It's been very successful for them, especially that combination there with the skipper, Sokol. Um, anticipate a drive here towards the line. Hit Bray, the other lock has 57 caps to his name. And that's the guy that takes it, big Christian Petre. Soko, right on the shoulder of Munter. Well, pressing at the line, did he get it there? The referee says try to Marius Tuku. <laughs> the crowd erupts. They love this. And why not? Absolutely. This is well earned by Romania. They're not bad up front at all. They came to compete in this area of the game in particular. And other sides will be taking note of this too. Ones that the All Blacks will strike hopefully later in the tournament. 
work them around the fringes, you just might get some yards as Romania have done. Yeah, good body position there by Tinga, the number two. Right there with the skipper, very impressive number four, Sokol. Had another crack at it. All black. Relentless pressure, rewarded with five points. All Blacks slow to react though, AJ went, and they were all lined to the left of that mall. It was left to the, the, the backs to, to be the defensive line there. They didn't react quickly to that at all. I thought that was poor. And just a lack of communication around the fringes. And they'll be disappointed in, in, in giving away five points. As Grant said, well earned by the Romanians. The Mufti with the conversion attempts. Oh, he can't deny them. Good on them. They put together about 20 phases in the build-up to the previous couple of movements. The Mufti. Left and right and away. 31 points to five. As we have another look at the try for Tinku. To Vivatu. Checking restart out to the left. Chris Marsoy. McAllister wide to Collins. Mantha makes the tackle. Dallas Evans. Namir Tialata as the big fella Somerville outside him. Sloppy. Really the option was there to go out to the right, wasn't it, Grant? Had numbers out there. Joe Roko Thoko. Well, he wasn't going to run. Any, he wasn't going to run anyone no. into position because he's not quick enough. So he really just needed to give the pass and support. A bit more traffic inside there. Certainly, the space was out wide. Touch. Touch. Balls to Jace. Hey, don't need to. Better second shove this time from the All Blacks. Bring some oh, real oh, heat oh. on that far side. Namir Tialata on Forrea. Interesting tactic by Romania though at scrum time. Subu is putting the ball in on the hit basically. Oh, oh, All Blacks did take a little bit of while to get the weight in there. That successfully created a turnover. So their ball, as we see Rokothoko park in behind McAllister, so they just, they look for options here. Maybe a mid, a, an inside channel, maybe it'll go a bit wider. Well, after just a good scrum. I was say, there's enough of a blind side here. Yep. They've got about 20 metres. Perhaps they could be looking to work on Number eight, be eight to nine or nine to eight, whatever. Plenty of room. Tinku, the try scorer, just... May have a little bit of a neck problem there as the front rows went down. 31-5, 33 minutes gone. Started to lose, 31-5. The all backs in front of Romania as the reserves go through their warm-ups. Nice day here in Toulouse. About 16 degrees, a little bit of breeze. Good. Nice cloud cover. See the Mexican wave once again taking off. Come on, come on. Very festive occasions, aren't they? See down there in the scrum. Doesn't look good when it goes down. No, he's pretty, pretty broad through the shoulders and thick through the neck, so he's got a bit of condition to cope with that. Some of them down and up in the van for Lawaki, but it comes to Alice. McAllister. Toriava. Tiolata. Rakafoko's come way out to the right. And it's turned over. And all those basic errors creeping in. That's not out. Sivivatu back on halfway. Evans. Up to the line, Nick Evans. Puts the hammer down. Has Ellis back inside. Oh, and he's caught it forward. Well, they're dangerous on the counter attack, but going back to that far side, Raktielata, bad decision. Pick and go was not the right option. Quick ball was coming. Just come back to the replay here. Andy Ellis was trying to regroup and get back to be behind okay. yeah, that's the infringement Nick there. Evans yeah and that's a fair call 
Rockathoco was on the outside and up screaming for it. Crutch. Touch. Go. No, 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 no. Listen my, my comments, okay? Pay on. This is a mark. Come on, come on. Important they get these scrums right. Some of all putting a lot of pressure there on his opposite. Crutch. Balan. Touch. Really having to hold him up at the same time. You see that? The dro shoulders dropped. Again, stop. Shoulders. Well, Bal Most Balan side. had the shoulders. early advantage in that battle. And you see here in that engagement, look, it's going down straight away. Okay. Referee saying, come on, fellas, let's sort it out. Move away from the pitch. Come here. Getting pretty cut up there. So good with the feet of the yet another reset scrum. Tidy out the back for Tamita has to go back for it. Goes pretty well. Circumstances. Dimitra with a big thump, not a very big one by his standards, but it eventually sets up for Nick Evans. McAllister, Major, Toyaba, inside Toyaba with a lovely little flick on the double around for Major. Well, the counter attack is one of the most potent weapons the All Blacks have got. Great cut out pass there by McAllister. Tuiava on the inside ball, supported by Major. And he, that's his 13th try in test matches. Yeah, good, for, good pass here by Luke McAllister. Cut out all the rubbish. Run on well there and good play there between Tuiava and Major. And started by Nick Evans, who made the early incision and brought the ball back well. Got sort of well back amongst the Romanian defence. And then it was just a numbers game out to the left for the All Blacks. Some smiles on the faces. Hopefully those smiles will continue as they deal with the injuries. Dan Carter, Mills Muliaina, Leon McDonald. A lot of heavyweight artillery just uh, it's out of action at the moment. But as Graham Henry said, well, this is what he did say. If we had to put our best 15 on the track against Romania in the final pool game of the World Cup, then we would have problems. Hence, they haven't. Rick McAllister again, this one's... Away to the left. It was Major who laid the drop off ball to Tuiava and then enabled him just to drift wide in support. Fend on a one handed offload. Another five points. That's a minute or so of the first half 36 5. Manta claims it, Serbu, Soko wanted it, but it went to Demofti the first 5-8. Gal, Serbu, Balan into the tackle of Masoid, Keith Robinson, A.J. Witten's been watching Keith Robinson. Into the second half, we'll get a bit of an update on how A.J. thinks he's been going. Manta has it again, wrapped up by Lawaki. Here it comes, back for Serbu. Demofti. The try scorer, Tinku. Soko. Double team by Collins and Lawaki, but still manages to retain the position. This is where they're at their best in these close quarter exchanges, the Romanians. Sioni Lawaki is in a bit of trouble with his shoulder. Clinching his arm, his shoulder. Not looking good at all as Thorne goes back for it. He definitely hurt himself on that tackle, Sioni Lawaki. to the All Blacks. Half time up on 
the clock. No, one, two, three. And not staying on their feet, the Romanians. 36 5. No. Yeah, some good defensive by the look some big powerful tackles here. First of all by Lawaki, then Masoi throwing the ball. We see Jerry Collins, he's next, trying to turn the man. Referee blows for half time here at the start in Toulouse 36 5. The All Blacks lead Romania. You're watching the BNZ half time report. What a stunning start from Sidibini Sivivadu. 36 seconds to touchdown for the All Blacks, but it has been erratic stuff from the flying Fijian. And there's the stats, and you can uh, see that uh, Romania has played their way back into the game, 50% of possession, and that huge mauling try was very impressive. And James Ryan, I want to talk about the All Black forwards, and they did get out mauled by Romania, but Keith Robinson, how's he going? Oh, he's had a great first half, I think. I think he'll be, he'll be pretty happy with it. Um, the line has been strong. Kick-off, you can see here, he's been dominant, and just getting around the track like he usually does. I've actually been really impressed with Ruben Thorne as well. The, the two of them are working really well together. They're getting around the track and helping each other out. Yeah, for me, there's, there's been some reasonable um, individual performances, but as a whole, that All Black team, I, yeah, I'm struggling to watch this game. I'm pretty disappointed with all the uh, the turnovers, you know, unforced errors again. It's a game when they really should impose themselves, but they're just not doing it. Well, let's hope they can impress Frank in the second half. We'll be back with the action shortly. Le Stade in Toulouse, where the All Blacks lead Romania by 36 points to 5 at half time. A little bit of concern for Sioni Lawaki just before half time, but it looks like it might have been one of the what they call a stinger these days. In the tackle, he's back out there. And just do a quick sweep across the team. So, so there's been uh, no changes at this stage at the half time break. It's referee Joel Jute waits to get proceedings back underway. Six tries in the first half to the All Blacks. Three conversions to Luke McAllister. And a Romanian team that have given it plenty, especially up front in those close quarter exchanges. Top down and knock on by the Romanians. The All Blacks have possession. Five by the first half from Andy Ellis. Major. Masoi. That's again Collins. Well back skipper today. Ellis Malamu. Oh. Rion! 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 Just retained position back for Masoi. Evans, oh, it's a major. So he dragged down by Christian Petre. A bit of space for Chiel, too. So cold. Tunita. Tuniak a knock backwards, says referee Joel Ju. Masai tried to rip it away, but no, 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 it's a mall. There's a mall, use it or lose it. The All Blacks will have the scrum. Aaron Major's down it's on the far side of the field, but this was a result of there being no halfback at the breakdown, Aaron yeah, Major, yeah, yeah. waiting for Andy Ellis yeah, or someone else to arrive. Yeah, Ruben Thorne actually went over the top there, predict the ball, probably should have really picked it up there, there was no one there to support, so uh, take the ball and set up another another uh, ruck more. Major's limping. Oh, that's that's a fairly heavy knock to the leg for Aaron Major, and he doesn't look at all comfortable. Sergu came through and stole that one. Manta. Tinku, the try scorer. Turnover from Masoi. Ellis. Toyava. Isaiah Toyava. Subivatu. He's already got two today. And eventually Ellis had a touch. Well, I'm still watching Major, and I wouldn't mind betting we see a replacement here. He is limping rather badly. Andy Ellis, he's been 
a great support player today, but he just needed to duck inside then. Sideline's your enemy. Especially with a big number nine who's a probably 10, 15 kilos heavier than him. Well, he's, at least. He's not really. He's 94, and Ellis is 89. So he's quite a big man out here, Ellis. Still about a stone in the old fashioned way. One or two all black tourists in the commentary team that wouldn't mind getting rid of an old fashioned stone. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Hamish. <laughs> the other back to Woods. Thorn went high, but. Guardians have it under control through Bugden Balan. Kevin Mayer lovely throw himself around. Very physical in close quarter stuff. But who's going to get on with it? Evans. Rakathoko. Big Joe hits the afterburners. Away goes Rakathoko. Yes. Support not quite there. And good cover defence from Tunita. It pops out. On the remaining side of Vardix of the All Blacks. And that's the first real chance in this game that Joe Rakathoko's had to really stretch his legs. Good fend, good speed. It's a great tackle there by Dumitras and his left wing mate Brezu Yanu shielded the outside All Black support player very, very well indeed. Now Joe Rakath, they could read that well. He had to take the tackle. The winger was on the outside there, did the right thing to come inside. Alamu to Robinson. Tialata. Just short of the line here. Plenty of space on the blind side. So it slowed down a little bit. Gallister. Gallus on the double around for Collins. Toyava. Twisting and turning eventually gets away from the tackle of Gull. McAllister. Manta with a hit on McAllister, but he offloads to Ellis. Collins. Look at McAllister again. And just infringing all around that uh, ruck and more time ground. The hands are getting on to Alice. He's getting disrupted in his delivery out to his outside. Very frustrating for the All Blacks. Yeah, well, they're coming in from the side, AJ, too, as part of that whole process. He's been everywhere today, hasn't he? The number nine. Good tackle. Pretty big hit on McAllister, too, as it was on Alice, but they're both quickly to their feet. And the tap penalty move coming up okay. here. Lawaki. Balan makes the tackle on Loaki, who gets it away to Robinson. Back for Alice now. Toyava in the gap. He saw Toyava. Fourth test try. Well, the tap penalty move was just really a repeat of the phase move we saw from Iraq a minute or so ago. Kevin Mialami runs the decoy line here. And it was number 12, Gontanyak, who complained of obstruction, but the referee said say ball. He was happy with it. So Tuiava, he dots down. They've worked hard for this. It's taken about five minutes in the coming to fruition. But they'll certainly take a battering to get that first five-pointer in the second half. Three out of six for Luke McAllister. This one will be simple enough. Slotting into the first 5-8 jersey with the injury to Carter. Conversion successful, 47 minutes gone, 43-5. The All Blacks lead Romania at Lestad in Toulouse. They're on three sport. Here we just see it again. Andy Ellis, the call had come in. I think Gondinyak tried to milk that really, to be perfectly honest. 
Tui Arvis, big strong man, 96 odd kilos, close to the line. Let's watch the kickoffs here from Dumitras. I've never seen anyone get the ball so high. Certainly challenging. Masai does very well here though. Chris Masai right up the middle. Lawaki. Tackle on him by Tinku. Greg Somerville. Tialata. Soko. Good tackle here by the Romanian skipper. Did well, just slowed it up. And once again, though, one of those Romanian hands comes over the top. An advantage with the All Blacks. McAllister. Collins. McAllister on the double around. Evans. Silvini Silvatu. Tries to pop it up to Rocco Thoko, his cousin, but it doesn't quite make the connection. I have to say, Graham, that they really butchered that try. That was uh, there for the taking. Well, we'll get another chance at this, and this was just a very simple double round call. Well done to create the space. Evans, who's really been an incisive runner. So Vivato and plenty of support. Well, it was nice defence, yeah, by the way. It was, wasn't it? absolutely. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Time is intercept. Breziano. Yep. He had one option, he took it, and it was right. Paid off. And Simi Vada, he was heading out that way, so the inside option was, was really close to him. Difficult for him to transfer back on the inside when he's, when he's arcing out to the right. Aaron Major seems yeah. to have um, come right a few minutes ago. I would have bet he wouldn't have stayed much longer. One against the throw for Romania. That wasn't straight. Two out there and 19 for the Romanians. Yeah. We're disappointed with that. That lineout has been a good source of supply of ball for the Romanians. Limited opportunities. The hooker right down the Romanian line. He's given away that opportunity. Back line formation. Like Thoko just in behind. Aaron Major. Well, this sort of formation creates two options an inside channel about where the circle is on the soccer pitch there or out wide to the flank where Semivata was anchored basically on the touch line yes. Servu about two miles offside there but play on it's hand in there from Romania penalty for the All Blacks and that was the second defence. You got it right, Hamish, the first time. Servu was a mile offside. <laughs> Having said that, it's the only Luaki should be, put that big rump out <laughs> around to the left and keep him where he's <laughs> keep him out of the way. There's plenty of it. Here's the halfback right round on Andy Ellis. 120 kilos off the hoof. It's the only Luaki. Ruben Thorne, intercepted by Balan Soko. Manta. Balan Bagda. Down and back play. Hammered there by Kevin Mayalamu. He's been very physical in the tackle all day, has Kevin. Yeah, the first contact there, though, was low, wasn't it? And then yeah. he just sort of rode up on the hit, so I don't really see. Oh, was that was where the problem was. No, that was earlier. There's something down there by Luaki. Couple of changes coming up, couple of solid likely lads. Mavroden. 16. 
from Yon. It is Yon in 70. They don't get any smaller, do they? Yon, 20 kilos. Getting a great ovation, and rightly so, these two. They have played very, very well for their country. Callister. Major White to Tuiava. Back into Rokathoko. Oh, just pushes off Montanayak. Points! Points! Collins. Kevin Mailamu. Full pass. The big Keith Robinson lurking out there on the wing. AJ hey, Wet, your thoughts on his comeback performance of the, of the big Mulu man? I'll be absolutely delighted. I think he's been very accurate in the line out. Uh, very also very positive in kickoff. As Grant looks nearly those boards will be going so high in the air. He's having to wait for them. Been a valuable contributor. And also very dominant in calling the line outs. A couple of times I've hit a few uh, huddles. He's uh, been voicing his opinion. A natural leader in this All Black pack this afternoon. Touch! Touch! Balls! Yes! Plenty of heat on the Romanian scrap. Lucy and Sonia of Tialata. Balan. Ben Frey and Manta combined. The discipline at times is not as good as it should be at the breakdown. Not only they give the penalty away, they give lots of yards and potentially possession. Better to be a bit more patient, back your defence. I know they, the All Blacks want to compete at the breakdown. Well, on the field, they're just coming in probably the angle there. Oh, that's it, he allowed off his feet. That was the issue. They were right initially, and then he's folded in off his feet. Collins did it right. Tialato initially was 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 dead right. And then he just he just rolled around. Off his feet, killed the ball. So on comes Richie McCaw replacing Chris Masui. Solid effort again from Masui. He's been very prominent. Ball in hand, some big tackles. He'd be happy with his uh, 60 minutes of work this afternoon. Job well done too. Welcome back for Keith Robinson as Chris Jack comes into the action. It's not finished yet. Doug Howlett on the fullback. Nick Evans in the first 5-8. Luke McAllister a solid afternoon. Yeah, you did well McAllister. Had a fine game. Bogdan Bala, Bokranek, Rezo Yanu. It's Bala as if the, the big man had a bit of trouble in the middle of the field. There's Marodin. Soko. They got a try in the first half, fully deserved. Hungry for another. 33 5. 25 minutes remain. And Lestat of Toulouse. Turnover here. I'm going to exclude about three sport. The Rugby World Cup 2007. Back to Major. No advantage. And the penalty. Start casting an eye forward to tomorrow. 
We head up to Paris. And Argentina against Ireland to confirm. Watch out of that tree and Pundu, the pool of death. For the All Blacks play in the quarterfinals next weekend in Cardiff. At the moment, looking like France. Yeah, Argentina just need one point out of that game to finish top of the group. Ireland need a mind America really. Four tries, which they haven't looked likely all tournament, and to deny Argentina a bonus point. So Florea comes back into the action. Balan injured in the tackle. Chris Jack can't get it. Ratu turned though. Here's Lowaki. Sioni Lowaki getting some momentum up. Sioni Lowaki. Away he goes. Rokathoko. Manta gets chased. But Joe Rokathoko gets a second. Oh, well spotted Andy Ellis down the short side. He's been looking all day at this option. Very thin defensively Romania. Luwaki. Well, he's a big man and hard to pull down. We know that. Pass might have been a little bit forward. But Rocco Thocco has him up in support. Try number 42 for him in test matches. Well, that blind side has paid dividends for the All Blacks this afternoon. Did well here, Luwaki. Took it offloading, but no changes mind. Just took out another couple of defenders with that big run. I mean, he's a big man. He's a hard man to pull down in full flight. Hand in his left hand. just popped it nicely to Joe Rokothoko. Good reward for him. He's been looking for some work this afternoon. Hasn't play hasn't quite gone his way. Be delighted to dot down for number two. 42 tries and 46 tests. The record, of course. Doug Howlett now on 48. I see Christian Cullett's record of 46 that stood for a number of years. Remarkable return, really, though, by Joe Rockapoco. 42 and 47. Evans yep. requires a little bit of help from the upright. No harm on that. 50 to 5. Was it forward? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. yeah. Just ever so slightly. Just as, just as well that Joe's quicker than the touch judge <laughs> and the referee, obviously. <laughs> So just over 20 minutes remain. 50 points to five. And a very good day for Andy Ellis. I think he's played very well. Really put his hand up in here. Comes Brendan Leonard into the action. Authoritative from Chris Jack. He'll be wary too of a bloke called Keith Robinson who's now lurking around for a place in the top 15. Beautifully struck by Evans. Collins. Now here for Doug Howlett. Toyava. A collision with Howlett in the end. Leonard. Serbu makes the tackle. Again, there we see Leonard ready to pass. Just a wee bit slow, looked. Just straight off the ground, Grant would have been the best option there. Quick, smart. Yeah, I know that, AJ. But I get a bit sick and tired of guys diving through, essentially yeah. leaving their feet to achieve that. That wasn't just a. That was a deliberate knockdown. Should have been a. Should have been a penalty. Defense. Andrew Hoare and Conrad Smith into the action. The whole bench out there now. One more to come as Tony Woodcock. We must be confident Aaron Major will get through the game because Woodcock could end up at second 5-8. That'll be a sight to see. Now, interesting to 
see here too that Greg Somerville is now scrumming on the, the loose head side. Tiolan has gone to the tie head. So they are having a clear look them on both sides. A chance to stake their claim. Up backwards says referee Jean Jou. So to Servoy, Alan Gary Chase, and Servoy into touch. Oh, great skill, Servoy. Not only did he have Howlett breathing down his neck, but he got a pretty good clearing kick away too. We know Doug Howlett will chase kicks all day, doesn't matter what position he's in, wing or fullback. Good mm -hmm. skills, Luaki. And good technique too, up and sideways. Good way to protect the ball from those coming forward from the opposition trying to compete. Palafita Anu coming on at 20. Replacing Serbu. Oh, great game. Always remember his encounter with the All Blacks. The start in Toulouse. Brendan Leonard. It's a strong runner. Oh, Lawaki. Tialata. Hoare right on his shoulder. Andrew Hoare <laughs> just stretching out. Couldn't quite make it. Now lost forward. That was close. That was very close. Get another chance to have a look at that, but the chalk was very close. And was it, where was the kicker? <laughs> was behind the dead ball line by the look of it. Yeah, I think Andrew Hall knew he was short and he had second thoughts. He thought I'd better pull it back. Well, I might see a replay to be perfectly honest because yeah. we've only got to cut the chalk. Here we go. go. We'll get a front on. We'll get a chance to see this. Good support there. Tialata with his, op, with his uh, fellow lo uh, prop. No, well, well short. short. Well short. Three inches short. Evans. But I look past to Lawaki. Howlett. Conrad Smith. Jack waiting back on halfway. Chris Jack. Right up the middle. Here he goes. Conrad Smith. Gontaniak with the tackle. Good run, Jack. Leonard. Pops it back. This time, Andrew Hall. Oh, Chris Jack is down. Which we can't see. Just what great skills here. The biggest winger in the world. Read the play well. Back for the turnover. Great footwork. Good passing skills, but he was taken out in that tackle, but he's on his feet. See Brendan Leonard carrying it on. Andrew Hoare just behind him in support. The offload game that the All Blacks are so very adept at. This time Andrew Hoare gets the try. Yeah, good, good reward for good backing up. Very happy about that, but what a great size up there from Chris Jack off the left foot. Any winger would be very happy of that. Chris Jack back in with his teammates. Just a bit of a Bit of a blow to the ribs, the midriff. Maybe a little bit winded, but he seems to be okay at the stage. Conversion successful to Andrew Hall's try. 57-5, quarter of an hour remain. Big man in full flight there. Tucks a ball under his left arm there, Watch backs this. himself. He's going for it, lining him up there, the big number eight, Tonita. Leonard already showing his skill, loves running with the ball in hand, and good reward there for Hawke, uh, for Hawk, dotting down by the post. Major. Aaron Major, off to Richie McCaw, to Leonard, halfway. Hoare again, Howlett. 
major lovely hands to Conrad Smith. Massive lineup for the All Blacks if they can protect this possession. Major Evans, Reuben Thorne, out to Jack again. Collins with Rockathoko on his outside. Turns it back inside to Joe Rockathoko. Three for Joe. Oh, this came from the easiest kick off the All Blacks had, had to receive all day. Because Dimitras didn't make the kick off, it was a long one. We're just seeing the end of it after the build up from their own 22. Some good hands, some good decoy running. And you could see all the time here that Jerry was trying to position Rockafoko on the inside. And once he got back on the angle against the defence, it was all over. Yeah, good reading there between Joe Rogothogo and Jerry Collins. As you said, Grant, it was always going to come on the cut back there. There was no room down the sideline. And a good way to finish a very fine move that started right on the All Blacks 22. And a lot of criticism about this ball from, it's meant to be called the Gilbert Synergy. The makers say it is. The All Blacks swear it's different than the one they use in the Tri-Nations. Complaints by Johnny Wilkinson, Chris Patterson, Filippo Contepom, Philippe Contepomi and Daniel Carter. So not the easiest balls to kick this one. Well, Nick Evans just makes a lie of that, but he stroked it nice and easy and that's the key to it. Let's see again AJ, great little backflip, change of angle. Good pass there from Chris Jack. Actually been very prominent since he's come onto the paddock, obviously enjoying his run. Well, it's a fairly open sort of affair now at Le Stade in Toulouse. 64-5. 12 minutes remain. Just after midnight New Zealand time. I think it's daylight saving back home. Clocks forward. If you're heading off to bed in a little while. Lock on. Play on. Richie McCaw. Evans. Richie McCaw's been prominent, hasn't he, already? Wherever the ball is, he's got his nose nearby. Absolutely. This ball got punched out of Nick Evans' hands, basically, but we'll just try to commit the last tackler in the offload. Never quite had control, really, did he? See, the replacements have been uh, worked wonders for this team. It's just given it a bit more impetus. Grant obviously contributed, and the, the pace, the tempo seems to have picked up. Well, we've brought some experienced players on, haven't the All Blacks? You know, Jack and McCaw and Howlett. It's gone off, it's gone off. This is the mark. Wait, 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 wait. Quatch! Touch! Balls and yes! Romanians have given them everything close to yes, running on empty now. Okay, that's an interesting one. Chris Jack desperately trying to stay on his feet. And <laughs> I think that's what it was for. The referee Dean didn't be off his feet. You've probably you're not allowed to sort of use your, your your hands or your elbows to help your weights. So pretty technical that one, but I guess under the law it's right. So back into the All Black half for a rare appearance in this part of the field in the second half. Romanian slowly walking up to the line out. I think the wear and tear is starting to take its toll on the side. Competed pretty well. Mark Rodden. 
Andrew Hall coming on the side. How can you come on the side when you're in the middle of the ruck? Against 16. Quite worked that one out. Okay. Referee's a sole judge of <laughs> fact. Oh, I never argued them, of course, Hamish. No. no. So they're going to take the penalty. I don't think that this will go down too well, really, to be perfectly honest. I see him coming in on the side there. Well, they've got the move going. I just think the referee thought well, he's not making any attempt yeah. when they've got some momentum going to get out of the way. I don't actually think there was anything wrong with it, to be honest. When the guy's down, he can, you know, if they're, while you're forming the mall, he can do what he likes. Nine minutes remain. 64 points to five. Well, this is Daskalu. Vlachu. Okay. Oh, sorry, there's Vlachu. Lauren Vlachu. Pick 72 points in Test Rugby. <laughs> Gives it a right old fashioned thump, too. Likes it. Straight down the middle. So Vlachu replaced the player with the penalty. 64 points to eight. A solid return, though, as we have another look at Vaichu. Pretty good technique that. Left shoulder forward. Very well done. Four knocks it forward. It's Vaichu with the kick down to Howlett. Big Howlett. Certainly on top of his game, being one of the form players all year. Ruben Thorne with one of those Edinburgh-like errors creeping in. But other than that, I think it's been, given the context of the opposition, a reasonable return this afternoon for this team captain here by Jerry Collins. One would assume he continues the captaincy with Richie McCaw on the field. There's counter attack opportunity again. Some quick ball from this ruck by the All Blacks, but Reuben Thorne unable to hold the pass. But I agree, Hamish, I think it has been better. Quality of opposition, not as good. And it's always difficult in these games to find the edge motivational-wise when it's a game you know you're going to win. It just comes down to a bit of personal pride, isn't it, and your ability to, to do the moves and to complete the, uh, the moves with precision and accuracy. And I think the All Blacks have tried to achieve that this afternoon. They've been under some pressure at times. And some of those offsides have gone, have quite gone their way, uh, especially around the base of the ruck and more. But uh, well, I think they've been well impressed with their performance this afternoon. Soko, the skipper, the sides up the captain. I can do what I like. Puts it high. Howard can't control it. Romania have it just short of the All Black 22. Crowd go crazy again for the Romanians. Howard couldn't control it. Toyaba does. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Leonard goes in and looks to dig it out. Evans. Stay, stay here, stay here. Lauren you. So cold, the skipper. Now he's going to have a bit of a step. Gives it off to Tunita. Rakathoko <laughs> coming in to make a, a nice tackle that had to be made. Tunita again. And numbers back to the right. Daskalu. Not releasing in the tackle. It's a great little offload game there from the Romanians taking the All Blacks on at their own game. Some great little skills showed here. Some desperate defence by the All Blacks as the Romanians were they were probing. Just looking for that elusive gap. Here goes Richie McCaw right up the middle. Waiting for the support to get there. Doesn't quite find it. Now it's there for Leonard. Evans 
one on one with Gull. And the Gibbons turns it back and fields the Conrad Smith. Try for Conrad Smith. Well, they've really upped the tempo, the All Blacks, in the last 20 minutes of this game. They back their fitness. This came from a quick tap deep in their own 22. And Nick Evans breaking down the right. Conrad Smith in support. So that's try number six for him in his 12th test match. Yeah, Evans just showing some fight of foot there. But it started with Rich McCaw. He's the one who ended the impetus. He took the ball at pace, ran 30, 40 metres downfield, and uses now not the, the ball carriers won't uh, sorry the balls were pulled weren't quite on his shoulder so he set it up set up a good second phase ball out there and then it went it right went to blind side again which just proved exceptional for the all blacks inside the final five minutes and we're starting to lose 37,000 capacity crowd here a stadium that was rebuilt redesigned for the 98 football world cup here in france Everywhere we go, superb stadiums, superb crowds. And great hospitality, Hamish, it must be said. No mistake in that. Evans. Yeah, he struck it pretty well again. It's kept well, Grant, since he's yeah, come he has. And the All Blacks have nudged past the 70 points as Nick Evans nudges past the defence and finds Conrad Smith. Back on the inside. <laughs> it's the Matador call, isn't it? For your leg. It's the early days the stadium was a, a bull ring. McCaw again in space. He'd be loving this. Howlett. Vlachu. The Howlett couldn't control it. Lauren Vlachu. It's a knock on. It's a little opportunity. The hospitality we had, Hamish, we experienced some more last night with the New Zealand ambassador, Sarah Dennis, and down from Paris to host some people from Airbus. And some from New Zealand Trade and Enterprise, AJ. Very nice. Catching up with a couple of old All Black mates, Mike Clamp and Rob Gordon. It was a lovely night. And Ian Richie McCall coming to the party. Obviously relishing the opportunity to get into open spaces. Trying to find Turner Speed. Just the pass. Bad Howlett just coming back on the inside, tripping, not quite controlling it. Really a great opportunity to put another five-pointer across the line. Of course, I would have been out with you guys, but I had to stick to the screen and watch England beat Tonga. Very hands, you had a few red lines on your behalf. And then you pass on your apologies. What was it you had as we had canard or fish, hamburgers or something, was it? Scrub to go down. <laughs> Can't deviate you from your concentration, can I? 71-8. Actually, I had uh, a Michelach burger, Frederick Michelach burger. Hopefully, it's one of those slimming ones. <laughs> 71 points to eight, 78 minutes gone. Evans, Conrad Smith, Major Howlett, another one for Doug Howlett. Well, that is try number 49, knocking on the door of 50. Well, set-piece move here by the All Blacks, perfectly executed. Conrad Smith on the one and three cut, we watch this. Evans drags the defence wide, Smith arcing in, then out, Major in support, Howlett through the channel, because Tui Arvis had to go wide to draw the defence away. Well yeah. done, the All Blacks, great execution. I thought this was one of the best tries of the afternoon, as you said, time to perfection. Running on the ball at pace there was Smith, and look, there was Major calling on the outside, Quick shimmy, then out, out in support. Timing was perfect. Just reward.
Evans with the conversion. 78 8. Only about 30 seconds remain. No Coward, 49th test try. Really is a Rolls Royce, isn't he, of rugby players? The miles might may be high, but the engine still purrs. He's in good nick. Joe Rockafoco, three tries for him too, as he has his eyes perhaps set on that record. Lovely hands from Evans to Major. Major with Toyama outside him. He's side Toyama. Well, just pushes up his. Defending winger there. Chiuntu and Toyama into the corner. And the bench and the non-players happy about that. We're just having a wee look here, Hamish, where the Toyama actually put his left arm on the line before he grounded the ball. We'll just watch. Change his hand. Got a push here. Just watch his left hand. No, he's all right. He's That's all right. right. And this angle will show a bit better, but it looks like he's all right. Yes, he is. Just. Second try for Isaiah Toyalva this afternoon at Le Start of Toulouse. It's a try. It's a try. 83 points to eight. Well, I was going to say at the kickoff, they've got about 30 seconds left. Is there time for one more try? This is a little sort of bounce move that Major looked like he was going to come on the cut back, then went out. As Evans got his hands through the tackle and then just pushed on the hand to Tuiava. Good fend, a couple of good fends really, and gets reward. The kind of performance that the All Blacks needed to deliver going into the quarterfinals. We could have to be reasonably happy with this one. This Nick Evans strikes that beautifully. Judge to perfection, 85 points to eight. And referee Joel Shute with a resounding blow on the whistle. Calls for neither side, 85-8. And Grant Fox, the quick... Wrap up of your thoughts on this match. Solid from the All Blacks. Yes, yeah, solid. More accurate uh, for longer periods of time. A bit more adventuresome. Uh, ball went a bit wider. More play on the hands towards the flanks. But against the lesser quality opposition, and Romania, to their credit, they never stop trying. A happy Graham Henry. Happy with the performance of his side. 85 points to eight winners of Ragazzi and Brave Romania side. And we'll start in Toulouse. 85 8 when we come back after the break. We'll be wrapping up the action, the post match reaction after the break here on Free Sport. You're watching the Rugby World Cup live and exclusive on three. The All Blacks have beaten Romania 85 8. They said back to start Toulouse and losing captain Soren Sokol. Sorin, playing the All Blacks, it's very difficult. Can you tell us what it was like for you out there? Uh, it's, it's very hard. It's, it's true, it's very hard, but it's always a pleasure to play against the, the best in the world. And uh, I, uh, I hope the, the public uh, like uh, what we try to make uh, in the field. It's very hard because they, uh, they are very complete. Uh, they have a good skills, a good speed, and they are all uh, good. So. It's very hard for us. I, I, uh, I, I'm uh, happy about the game and uh, I hope Romania can be better soon. And just quickly, your thoughts overall on Romania's performances in the four games? Yeah, we are disappointed about the loss against Italy and uh, it was very hard for us to forget this. We're going to play in Scotland. Uh, against Scotland, it was very hard. We uh, it was uh, we was very disappointed with uh, this score, but the All Blacks they uh, make us uh, feel good because they win against them 40 <laughs> points to zero. So if I look England too, the champion of the world, and they lose zero too, it's Celavi. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Sorin. Okay.
All the best. C'est la vie indeed. Tough stuff for Romanian rugby. They've lost 75% of their playing numbers in the last eight years, so they're really up against it. Let's head back to start to lose and the winning captain, Jerry Collins. Jerry, well done on another victory. How pleased with the performance? Yeah, well, you, we played pretty well in patches here, but uh, yeah, it's difficult to, to judge. Uh, now, Romania came to play in patches, but I suppose you could say the game in patches, but yeah, we're pretty happy. Uh, yeah, Got to be happy if you score more than 70 points. And um, no, we'll enjoy this one tonight and we'll look forward to next week. So, Yeah, the real test next weekend. Do you feel that physically things are coming together nicely for the All Blacks? Yeah, well, next week we've got no choice, have we? We don't win, we go home. So, I mean, that's for everyone else. So it's very easy to get physical, you know, when your job's on the line. So, uh, you know, just one of those things. You know, we came here to do well and to lose and enjoy to lose and enjoy the last ball game. And, um, I think we'll just worry, we'll worry about next week tomorrow, I think so. Okay, thanks, Jerry. Right. Cheers for your time. As usual, Jerry Collins not mincing his words. Well, a big day today for Joe Rokothoko scoring a hat trick. Let's call, uh, join AJ Wetton, who's with him. Once again, the Scottish last week, um, the difference being this time out? Uh, I guess it was more trying to be more physical in the breakdown, and sometimes when we were physical in the breakdown, you know, we were in alert to clean the ball up. Uh, but obviously going forward, you know, we'll, our work on is trying to be more physical and trying to cut down the smaller errors, with, you know, with handling errors especially. Oh, well, good luck. Thanks very much and enjoy the rest of the tournament. Cheers, AJ, and special uh, well done to the Auckland boys and getting the shield. Cheers. Thanks. Yes, well done, Auckland. Hey, let's go back to Toulouse and the winning coach, Graham Henry. Graham, congratulations on the win. You said you wanted accuracy. Were you totally satisfied? Oh, you're never totally satisfied, no. Um, we got better as the game went on. We struggled to get quality ball at times from set piece and that as it <coughs> also at the tackle. But uh, as the game went on, we got better at that, and that was pleasing. And finished up playing some pretty good football. Because you couldn't have had a better start with the try after 38 seconds, but the intensity wasn't always there. Do you know why that was? Well, it was 85 points, wasn't it? I think that's pretty good. I think we should give them some credits. Now we're very, we're very quick to criticise. I think they played pretty well, but the Romanians put a lot of heat on at the at the tackle area, put a lot of heat on at the scrum, and played with a lot of passion and physicality. They're big team, big boys, and you've got to expect that. So well, we're pretty pleased. We got better as the game went on. Will you watch the group D games maybe together and see your potential future opponents? Yeah, there's a lot of good teams out there. That's what the World Cup's all about. How are you going to prepare in the next seven days? Haven't thought about it yet. We'll get there. Cheers, Graham. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. We hope they do get there. And this is how Paul C shapes up at the moment. The All Blacks had pretty much won it going into this game. Romania, five points from their win over Portugal and their bonus point against Italy from the first game. Well, with us in the Paris studio, James Ryan. I won't call you All Black Block now, co-host. You've been with me for about 60 hours of rugby. And... Frank Bunce and Graham Henry seemed a bit defensive there with his reply about, well, we did score 85 points, but they weren't 85 pretty points. Well, I think, uh, as Jerry Collins said, uh, there were parts that were patchy in that game, but you've got to take into account Romania. They were, they were actually quite good out there and they were very destructive at the breakdown. I think it took us a while to wear them down, but I know the guys, they'll just be stoked to be, to be able to go into the big games now, the quarterfinals, to have these so-called minnow games out of the way and they can now focus on the big games. Frank, the fact is other teams will also be niggly around the breakdown and there are times, in my eyes anyway, the All Blacks look a bit panicked and, and fragile under, under pressure. Yeah, well it wasn't always together, was it? And um, Graham Henry said that they got better as the game wore on, which was quite obvious to see, but um, then again Romania sort of broke down a little bit towards the end. And, you know, we did put together some, some good plays and, uh, and, and in the end scored some good tries and came away with a good victory you know 80 points is nothing to be scoffed at but uh, the way we put it together as you say is leaves a little bit to be desired I'm, I'm not entirely happy to be honest a positive though for you each positive definitely positive yeah yep. 80 points is a positive yeah exactly thanks Graham Sorry, Frank. <laughs> um, and we're on the right track well I think so I think as I said before it's just it's crucial for the guys now to mentally to be able to move on to a big game I think they've had enough of playing the so-called lower teams and they're going to go into a game where they're going to have no trouble getting up for it um, the so-called problem before these lower team games is that it's harder to get up for, but next week there'll be no trouble with that. Yeah, well, the All Blacks get a week. We just get a couple of minutes. After the break, it's Australia-Canada.
Rugby World Cup 2007, proudly brought to you by Harvey Norman, Bank of New Zealand, Heineken and Telecom.